Cat, should the Sixers want Harden back? Uh, there's, there's a couple of different things. This is loaded for me, okay? Lucky, I, lo I love you, Luck. But listen, man, I don't know what basketball freedom means. Should they keep him? Yes, they should keep him. He's only been here a year and a half. I think if Joel Embiid is more in shape, if James is more in shape, their bodies, I think, and this, 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 this is an older James Harden with a lot of minutes on himself. So you don't, my thing is go where else because Joel Embiid is dominant. So if Joel, you, you, you can, your career can be easier if all you have to do is just dump it to Joel and you have Maxi becoming a rising star, mm -hmm. right? Tobias Harris is solid, right? Keep him there, but... Basketball freedom, I don't know if you said it, like, James, if you said that, or... Well, I don't even know what that means because you led the league in assists. Yes, he did. So what, what, do you, what, do you, what do you really... What do you... I, I think you need to get in better shape. You need to stay off the social life, right? Off the court stuff. Just focus on these last few great years that you do have and give yourself a chance so you won't have to regret what I didn't do, mm. right, when I was playing. And I think it's just a mentality, Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, guys like that, where they, they focus and they're super strict on their bodies because you, it, it's a very, Shady, you know, this is a short window. Short. A short window career. And when you're sitting there and you're having fun with all these guys off the court where you should be resting your body or taking better vitamins, doing next one, you, see, sometimes you get rewarded of doing bad things. Great. Yep. I don't think, because he's so talented, he's, he's, he's great. So you've been rewarded these things. But are you really focused on trying to become your best version of yourself? Are you maximizing it? Are you maximizing it? I don't think he is. Yeah. Right? I totally agree with that. But it's only been a year and a half, so I, I wouldn't throw in a towel on him. Right? I, I would keep him because what are you getting back for a person like that? Because he is super talented. He's very smart. He led the league in, in assists. Yeah. And then he, he can let Maxi be Maxi. I wouldn't want Maxi to be the point guard. I want Maxi to do what he's doing. Sure. Roam free. I want Tobias to do what he's doing. And I want Joel Embiid. Joel Embiid and James Harden need to be in better shape. Doc Rivers wouldn't get fired. That's my point. Because mm. sometimes it's not about the coach. Right. My, my pushback is I. I I think James is, a, is an exceptional talent, mm -hmm. right? We can all see that. Mm -hmm. But I, I think he's, he's past that prime. When he says he wants to have the, the freedom, what's that mean? Because I, I feel like mm -hmm. we can get a game where he got 40 points. Mm -hmm. We get a game where he has, what, 11 points? Mm -hmm. Another 40, another six? The thing with James Harden is he's past that point where we can get the consistent big offensive games that he used to give out. Yeah. If you really watch him play, the explosion's gone. Mm -hmm. The rise is going. All them shots, I think, over a period of time, I can't think he could give you the same I used to give you. Like, like last playoffs, he had, a, he had a dunk, or last playoff series, he had a dunk. That was his second time dunking in the whole year. Mm -hmm. like, like, time gets you as an older player. So when I look at the Sixers, like, I, I would love to have Harden with the Sixers still. But when I think about it, it's like, Max, he's a young star. We need him to, to develop. Can he really develop under James Harden? And then James Harden being the, number, the second best player on the team, that's what we, we, when we got him, that's what we supposed to be, right? Right. When we need him most in clutch moments, he don't give it to you. He, he gave you the, in game, what, one? He, he gave you two games, okay. Boston. Two games. But then when you go to game six at home, we can close these boys out. Two back-to-back -back bad games, you're saying? Yes, back-to-back. Back-to-back. The fourth quarter in game six in Philadelphia, we could have closed it out. Fourth quarter, he had zero points. He had only... Failed four shots. That's it. We need you to produce at that time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Game seven, they got smoked. He didn't do much. Mm -hmm. So listen, all I'm saying is this. What we always talk about in the football locker room is, is this player worth the baggage? Is this player worth everything that comes with him? We don't want these reports. Either you're here locked in with us or you're not. The ball's going to go through Joel and B. Ain't no, that's the freedom. They, I don't know about the freedom and all that. Mm -hmm. We going through him. Mm -hmm. And then anything else after that is, is whatever it is. Mm -hmm. I think that his, for his role for the Sixers, it, it was solid, getting the assists and et cetera. But if you want more of a role with the ball more in your hands, then Philadelphia's not the place for you. No, I agree with that because it's got to go through the MVP. I mean, his, his last three games, he averaged 13 points, 31% field goal percentage, mm. four turnovers, was a minus 30, average minus 10 per game and had zero fourth quarter points. Come on, man. So, like, See? when it mattered most, he wasn't there. Yeah, when I consider the talent of James Harden and what they gave up to get James Harden, let's not forget that, because if he's saying, I want to go someplace else, oh 
way. He can opt out and just go. Mm -hmm. And they don't, they aren't able to keep him unless right. they're going to pay him a number where right, he right. says, I'll stay. I have to stay or I want to, I, I will stay. My concern is the same as yours in terms of you want basketball freedom. What you're suggesting is, is that you weren't free to play your game this year with the league MVP and you need that to change. And if James Harden had a championship to his name, or if at any point I felt that him playing to that freedom uh, put him on the track to winning a championship, then I would say, okay, I understand that. Mm -hmm. But that hasn't happened. And my concern is that this is code for, I want you to hire the coach mm -hmm. that is going to give me that freedom. <clears throat> and the coach that would give him that freedom is Mike D'Antoni. And that is not the answer for the Philadelphia By 76ers no means. winning By a championship. No means. So that's where what he said, if, if he had said nothing, I would say, look, you, you got to bring him back. You have, you've got to figure it out. You've got to make it work. You, all of that. But when, if it's a disgruntled James Harden and I got to overpay him to stay, because otherwise he's going to go someplace else. He's gone. Then, I, I, then I, I will take the hit in the loss of the talent because otherwise I'm signing up for something that's going to undermine me anyway. So James knows something all of us don't know. Daryl Morey and James had to speak because you're going to lose. You lost Doc. Doc's mm. gone. And then is, you're going to lose two people. You're going to lose James and Doc or is James, what you said, is James maneuvering to get the guy he wants to coach. Now, if you do that, if it's Dan Tony, which I love Dan Tony's offense because I'm a guard. Sure. I can average 25 with James. And as a guy, he's a great guy. You know what I mean? He's an amazing guy. But then Joel Embiid. Dan Tony's never coached oh. a big, truthfully. Well, Amaya Stoudemire was Dwight with Howard. Steve. Dwight, 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 Dwight Howard. Yeah, you see how that turned out? Let me ask you this question. Though. You think at this stage of James Harden's career, you think he still can pull the punches like he used to, like that? Like with, uh, with Like give her this coach, he make us, me happy. Showed us in game one. Well, when you have a relationship with a person. Yeah. I think life is built off nepotism. Okay. It's, it's not about how much money you have. It's who you know. Okay. Mm. So at the end of the day, you can have a billionaire standing outside a club. Whoever owns that club can say if you, he can get in or not. Right. That's how this is. Okay. So there's a friendship. But if the guy with no money goes standing in and talks to the owners, like, yo, what's up? Oh, what's up, man? You ready? Ooh, come on right in. James and, and Daryl have a relationship sure of success with each other. But and that, now they're saying, oh, I got a big now. But does that bypass the biggest person on the team who really should be calling the shots? We're gonna find, we're gonna That's find my that question. I, we're going to find out. There's only one dude that can pull punches <laughs> like that. Mm -hmm. right. Well, there should be, but that might not be how it plays <laughs> out. Yeah. Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.